everyone welcome back to the vlog today is thursday august 11th i just 11th yes 11th i just got home from school it is 5 46 they changed our bell time so we start and end 15 minutes later and it's only 15 minutes but i swear it feels so late. I don't know why those 15 minutes just made it so much later, but it's like every day I get home and I'm like, the whole day is gone. Ugh. Anyway, it has been quite a day. It's actually, it's been a pretty good day. I got up on time. I overslept yesterday, so that was an, that was an accomplishment. I was very excited. Did my workout. I um, scheduled all my emails. I got breakfast at Starbucks. It was delicious. Um, and then had class classes were okay they were mostly okay they were kind of like they were like extra jittery and a little bit extra like i had to be extra fussy today um turns out there's a full moon i know that realistically like the full moon shouldn't do anything for children's behavior but i swear every day that i'm like what is wrong with you? It turns out to be a full moon or like the day after. So it's a real thing. It's a real thing, even though it may not may not seem like a real thing. So there we are. Anyway, I just got home. I'm supposed to film videos today, but it's like really rainy and like dark. So I guess I'll just turn on all the lights. I don't know because I want to make sure that we, you know, are, I want to make sure I get them filmed, but also it's not the best lighting situation. But I guess, you know, it's gonna be winter before we know it, and then I'll have horrible lighting. So there we are, speaking of horrible lighting, now here we are. Um, I just got a package that I'm super excited about, so we're gonna unbox this, and then I guess we'll go film some videos. <sighs> Y'all, I cannot believe this is the first full week of school. So my kids started on Wednesday last week. So we just had those three days and then these four days. And I'm like, it feels like it should be October. I'm like, why is it still hot? I don't know. Okay, so this is from L Florence. L Florence is a YouTuber. Well, she's a lawyer, but she has a YouTube channel where she talks about like, luxury stuff so like really fancy makeup and really fancy clothes that i do not purchase because i'm not that fancy but i like her style so i like watching her videos to kind of get like the ideas from them and then i you know recreate them with cheaper things um but she also has a jewelry business where she makes like fine jewelry so these are also not super cheap but they're like nice and I got something new <gasps> and they're so pretty. So they're earrings, look at that beauty. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. So her business is called Nouvelle Pearl. Um, and let's see here, I'll hold up the thing. Her business is called Nouvelle Pearl cause she makes mostly pearl jewelry, but she has other things. So like this is turquoise um, and it's so pretty. Oh, I'm so excited. This was my, um, Congrats, you survived five years of teaching. Present to myself. <laughs> so, um, but it was really fitting because my first year of teaching, I got myself a um, a pearl. It's like a pearl and turquoise, or a pearl and azure, a pearl and something necklace from her that um, was like a woohoo! I got a job kind of thing. So I love, love, love marking any sort of like accomplishment or occasion with jewelry because then every time you wear the jewelry then it's like oh you know so like i have the earrings that i got when i made um twenty thousand dollars in a year on tpt and i was like so excited and so every time i wear them i'm like oh remember like that's where that came from so those are mine congrats you survived five years earrings <laughs> so i will link this down below um and you can go check out her site it is nicer jewelry so it's all like actual gold actual silver actual pearls like so it's not like cheap stuff but it's very high quality i have quite a few things from her and wear them all the time and love them so i'm really excited to try out my new ones i'll have to wear those tomorrow all right let's go film some videos make some dinner we're gonna have lasagna so i did this wait andrew found some video on like instagram and it's like 
the lasagna things so like meat and the ricotta cheese and then i add um i'm adding like ground up zucchini and onion um, all like cooked up and then you put it into a tortilla roll up the tortilla and then cut the tortillas into like pinwheels and then stick it in a dish and then put pizza sauce all over it or like you know and then put like pasta sauce all over it and it is delightful it definitely doesn't taste quite like lasagna but it's very yummy and we use the carbs from our tortillas so it is low carb so there's that anyway I'm gonna let you go let's go so when it's pretty dark in here um i don't turn on the overhead light because that creates shadows coming down from your face but i use this lamp which is a ten dollar lamp from walmart with daylight light bulbs in it i'm gonna move it once i get um this other thing out of the closet and then in my closet i store my tripod and also why is that blinking in like every light that's a little bit terrifying um and then i have this ring light now when people talk about like lighting they go straight to ring lights and i would say you really don't need a ring light i have this because it was 25 dollars at walmart um but really what i want is to get another one of those lamps and put it over in this corner so what you need if you are and excuse the mess what you need if you're doing this is you want kind of like one light that is lighting the room and then one light from each side that way it'll kind of cancel out any of the shadows on your face so i'm gonna move this guy right on out it's not the sturdiest of lamps but that's what you get for 10 bucks and then i'm going to hook this guy up behind the cello Hello, happy Friday. I am so relieved that it's Friday. Oh, good gracious. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I think, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I kind of feel like we're starting in the beginning of the school year. And so it's like, it already feels like it's October. And I keep remembering, I'm like, it's only, like that was really the first week because last week was only three days but i am very glad it is friday i'm so tired like tired to the point of this morning this morning i did get up i laid in bed an extra 20 minutes but i did get up i did my workout i did work on my business like i did the things i also like forgot how to get ready apparently and so i didn't put any face makeup on i didn't even put concealer on like i don't wear a ton of face makeup but i usually put on like concealer and bronzer and like powder to soak up any gunk um and I got to school and I was like, I, don't, I didn't put concealer on. Like, it's like, I don't even know how to get dressed. Like just stuff like that all day that I was like, oh my gosh, I just need to be done. So I had a really long list of things that I was gonna do today and now I don't wanna do any of them. So um, I have planned, my goal for this year is on at least the days that I am not um, like home late, like days that I have, a staff meeting where I have choir or something like that after school on like a normal day that I get home at a normal time I would like to reinstitute what I used to do which was spending about 30 ish minutes um just like chilling so that'll end up being only two or three days a week because I have choir I have filming days so on filming days I don't do that because then I'm like sitting in like my clothes and that's weird um and then I have um what's the other one staff meeting the other day um so I guess two days a week so I guess Mondays and Fridays We'll institute that. I don't know. We shall see. But I am going to do that. I'm going to like chill out for a little bit and then hopefully I can convince myself to at least work on the computer. I wanted to like clean a bunch of stuff, but like my body hurts. So that's not happening. Maybe I'll go research cleaning companies. That might work. Right now, I don't even want to do I need to like edit videos and I don't want to do that 
the good thing is I have worked ahead. So it's like, if I don't edit videos today, it's not the end of the world because like, there's nothing that needs to go out immediately. Um, so like technically they could wait till Monday. I just don't want them to wait too long to the point where I don't, you know, have any ready, you know, like a big backlog of them. I'm like, you know, let's try to keep on top of them. So that's where we are today on this Friday. It wasn't a bad day, just I'm exhausted and certain classes are gonna be an adventure this year because it's eight days in and they're already adventurous. <sighs> so that's where we are, that's where we are. It's Friday, hallelujah. I am gonna go do something. Tomorrow is Saturday. Let me just give you a day of the week lesson. Oh my gosh, Becca, talk. Tomorrow is Saturday. Tomorrow we're going to see my in-laws and on the way there, I think I'm gonna stop by J. Crew because I got a couple of things the other day and I got a dress, actually it's sitting right here, um, that I really liked this part, but I don't really love the top part. Um, and it's one of those like, it's not bad, but I don't love it and I, was kind of like on the fence about like, uh, I don't know about it. So since we're going to my in-laws, well, that's kind of like on the way, J. Crew's like on the way. So I think we're gonna stop and return that and possibly do some other stuff. I don't know. The main thing I want is to sleep in. So that's my, that's my big plans for this weekend. Now, that being said, you do need to have comfy shoes. So I'm going to link the shoes I wore yesterday. They are, I've talked about them a lot. My little like espadrille heels with the like open toe. They're so comfy. I forgot, I haven't worn them, you know, a lot over the summer other than like to church, but it's totally different than to school. And I was remembering yesterday how much I love them and how comfy they are. I think they're down to like, only navy they used to have a bunch of colors but that's what i saw yesterday and then i'm checking my shoe off so i can show you this one um and then these are the ones i wore today i'm not sure if they're available so if they are i shall link them down below they're also like small heel they're super squishy and then um this part is like a it's super stretchy so like it doesn't rub anywhere which is glorious and it's velcro so you don't have to like buckle things nicely it's great so i love these as well and both these and the pair i wore yesterday like look like nice shoes like they're not you know like sneakers they don't look you know like just not lovely shoes so i will link those down below for those of you who can't wear things like sneakers or don't like to wear things like sneakers we are not allowed to and also i don't like to so i have double there but yeah yesterday i was filming <laughs> can we be honest i've had this really hard let me just like talk your ear off i am having the hardest time like getting back into the routine of everything with like school and doing all the things and so i um have been like really i've been trying to take it slow but in taking it slow sometimes i'm like it's too slow and i am just like oh my gosh i'm too bored so i'm like i need more stuff and then other days i'm like oh my gosh i don't have time to do anything so i don't really know like where to you know even that out anywhere and yeah, yesterday was a, I don't have time for anything. I only got two videos filmed and I was like, oh my gosh, only two videos filmed. Now, thankfully, again, I'm working ahead. So I didn't need to film a bunch. I had four on my plan, but it was like, I didn't have to get four done. Um, so that's okay. Like it's not the end of the world. And that's why I did that. That's why I was batching things. So like I didn't have to stress and it was like, I can still, you know, do work, but I don't have to worry about it. I don't stress about it. If it doesn't get done today, it's okay. I can do it next week. Um, which has been really, really, really nice, but I'm just like trying to get back in the swing of things. So if you are, you know, starting school or just started school and you're like feeling very like, Oh my gosh, I can't get back into a routine i feel you i don't usually have issues with that usually it's like day one i'm up as soon as my alarm goes off and we're rocking and rolling and everything is fine i don't know what is wrong with this year but i don't know i don't know because this year i'm like struggling so much so i'm gonna go find something comfy i really just want to wear like a sweatshirt so especially it's supposed to like start raining I was really looking forward to sitting out in my little pool. 
but it's supposed to start storming very soon. So instead we'll do sweatshirt and couch and Charlie snuggles. She'll enjoy that. Hello and happy Saturday. Um, yesterday I didn't film anything after I talked to you because there was nothing to report. I sat on the couch, I watched a YouTube video, I watched another YouTube video, watched another YouTube video, um, ordered Taco Bell for dinner, fell asleep on the couch at eight o'clock, and that was my night, <laughs> didn't even pull my computer out. So again, grateful I've been batching so that I can push some of that stuff to later. Right now we're headed out because we're gonna go to my in-laws for a birthday lunch at like two o'clock, is that lunch or dinner? I don't know. And then we're going to stop by the store because I am gonna return that dress. So I already looked up to see and I have my eye on a couple of things that I would like. So if I return that, then I can get the other things, which was really the th thing that kind of pushed me over the edge. I was like, I don't love it, I don't hate it, but I could have spent that money on these other things that I like. So that kind of was the breaking point for me. Today I'm just wearing um, this really cute top with the embroidery on it. I've already worn it quite a few times. I've worn it to school and just out, styling it with some linen shorts today and just my regular old Crocs. The shirt is still available, so I will link it. It's Well, it's available as of today. Hopefully it will be available as of when you see it. Um, but yeah, that's about all I got. So we're gonna go out, do some stuff. Tomorrow we have church. There we are. Well, let's see where this takes us. Hello, happy Sunday. I feel like this has just been the vlog of the check-ins. Um, yesterday we went and had a party. It ended up being like a whole like cousins, aunts, uncles, everything. Um, I was just expecting like immediate like family, but it was fun. Went to J. Crew. I'll have to show you what I got. And then we did, um, came home, went and sat in the hot tub and had a really nice night. Today went to church, went to Olive Garden, went to Home Goods and TJ Maxx because I was looking for a couple things. I didn't find anything I wanted. I found other things that I did not need, but there we are. Um, and yeah, so home now, I feel so exhausted. It's like I could just like fall asleep standing up. Um, just kind of hit. So I think I'm gonna grab a, maybe a cup of coffee, work on my computer for a little bit, see if I can get some um, Bible stuff done because I mentioned that we're combining churches and so we're gonna get like new people to actually help me in children's church which means that i actually have to be like on top of things <laughs> My, before it was just me and another girl who taught pe and so literally i'd just be like hey this is what we're talking about and she'd be like cool and that was all i had to do um, but now i actually have to like write lessons and like figure out formats and figure out schedules and all that kind of stuff that i need to figure out so that's what i'm working on this dress is the cutest it is one of my favorites I have a lot of favorites, so I've stopped saying favorite. Um, but it's super, super cute. It's like, it has lemons and oranges and grapefruit and tassels. And like the button detail is really fun. It's really lightweight. And then I wear my little lemon earring. So I'll link the dress. The earrings are gone, but I'll link the dress in case you are curious. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna work on my computer. I'm gonna do some planning for this week. This week I do not have late duty since so maybe my first week of like, normal schedule so hopefully i can get things like figured out of like actually what i want to function and do so comfy clothes coffee that's the plan if you've ever noticed this back behind my door this is my little like vision board i made it a few years ago and i've updated and added and stuff like that um but every once in a while i just like to look and just kind of see what all we have um i didn't quite hit that so this needs to be adjusted i haven't messed with it but just you know remembering things like how i'd like to have like a music room and disney season passes and all that kind of stuff i need to update i want to add some like scuba diving stuff because i really want to get back into scuba diving we haven't done that in forever but um this is your cue to go make yourself a little vision board of just you know things you're interested in working on some of these are just like aesthetic pictures of like kind of you know that's how I want my life to be I want to 
work on my couch <laughs> and paint and write books and make products. So there you go. All right, let's talk planning and then let's talk J. Crew. You know, some people are really aesthetic about their vlogs and here I am filming on my couch. Um, so I have in my bullet journal, I have like my plans for the second half of the year over here, which includes like my main tasks for each month. Then each month, oops, look my little whale, he's so cute, so cute. I don't like this page, I need to do something to fix that. Um, then each month I pick the top things for the month that I want to work on. I'm not going to finish all of these, by the way, I already know. Um, and then break those down into like more actionable steps, kind of separated out by different things. And then what I do on, usually on Sundays, is I'll go through all of those things and like my most important for the month and I'll put them onto the week and then out of the week comes my daily plan. So then I go through and I'm like, okay, this week I'm actually, I didn't even put blogs on here, but that was the main thing I need to put on here. I'm writing my Bible blogs. Okay. So I need to do that. I'm going to do Pinterest pens. And so then I can work, uh, write down things that are either weekly occurring or things that are on the list with my top three or four things for the week. And so these three are the most important. These are other tasks. And then I started doing like all videos that need to be edited on a sticky note so that I can just move that to different pages. And so you can see like I have a lot of stuff tomorrow and then I have less stuff on other days. And so I can write down like most important tasks to make sure things get worked out. And then this and this help to make sure everything gets done. And if you see the parentheses, that means that is an optional like if I get to it task. The process each week takes like, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes. And then each month I spend, you know, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes making my um, bullet journal spreads and then planning things out for like what I wanna do this time. And it's just like a really simple and efficient way to get things done. Today I also sat down and figured out like what a good weekly routine would be. And I like counted out the hours that I'm going to be working if I, you know, stick to the schedule, if, um, it is so depressing. Seriously, I was like, Andrew, why does work take so much time? I have like, no time. <laughs> I can't look at an extra things. So frustrating. Anyway, let's talk, close real quick. Um, I'm wearing like lounge clothes. Okay, so this was something I went they're looking for i have this skirt in like a blue with like a coral print and it's so cute it's super stretchy um and i'm not sure if i can wear it to school i gotta try it on and see how long they are but i got the blue one and i loved it so i was like let me get the red <laughs> the white and red one too and then they had t-shirts like super 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 on sale i think i paid like four dollars for these so i just got like a red one that matches that. I pretty much just got anything that was in my size. So I also have this white one because you always need white t-shirts. That's just like a thing. Go to purple. I swear things are cheaper in store. And then I found um, like a tennis skirt on sale. It was only like $10 and it has like the pleats in the back, but like straight in the front. So I thought that was kind of fun. And I don't I have one tennis skirt that is I have like one long one that I wouldn't actually wear to play tennis I have a tennis skirt also that's black but it's very very different from this one so I think that'll be nice like even just as a going out one and then I also grabbed these gray chino pants that are already wrinkled um I love 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 my Amazon pants but sometimes you know, I would like something different. So I thought I would try these out. I like, I tried them on in store and I liked them. So I'll see how I like them and they have them in other cars if I do like them. We also found three shirts that Andrew really liked that were in his size. So we got those and everything all together was only a hundred bucks for all that stuff, which I thought was really good. Now, there were a couple things I wanted that they did not have in the store. So I might place an order to grab just like two or three things that I was after. So that's where we are. Um, I've been working on some stuff for my, I've been, so I've been working on some Bible stuff for the last little bit. We just ordered some dinner. I think I'm going to, I just finished up like my printables for 
Jesus walking on the water with like a whole really fun like lesson plan and everything. I'm very excited for it. We're gonna do that in a few weeks. And then, so I think right now I'm going to crank out the coloring sheets. I do, I like to do um, basically coloring sheets for like the little kids and they usually have a couple of questions on them and they have different parts of the story and different like challenges. So sometimes they have to like draw something um, in addition to just the coloring sheets so that it's not, you know, all the just coloring sheets. Um, there's usually more things to do on it. So my idea is that's like for the little kids versus the printables are more for the older kids. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna crank those out, wait for my food to get here, and then I think tonight I'm gonna take a very hot, very wonderful bath and read. Although I'm so <laughs> disappointed because I got this book and I opened it up the other day. I was super, super pumped to read this book because I thought it was like a novel about Pandora, like Pandora's box, but actually it was a jar. Um, it's not. <laughs> It is actually um, like a collection of essays about different Greek women. So that was much less exciting. But now like I started it, I am interested. Like if I had known, I probably would have still bought it and still read it had I known that's what it was. But that's not what I was expecting. And so I was like really irritated when I opened it and I was like, no. Oh. Yeah, I thought it was like the prelude. I thought it was just like gonna, you know, do that and then start a story and then it did not. And then I started like flipping through and I was like, this is not at all what I thought it was. So I will probably still read it. Just know it's not what you think. So Whew, that's the plan for today. Tomorrow's gonna be busy, busy, busy because I have a lot of stuff to clean. There we are. So trying to talk my husband into planning some trips with me because I'm like itching to go somewhere, do something, plan something. I don't know. I know we've only been home for like a month, but still I'm like, I want to do something. And then right now I'm the only one in children's church and we're like starting to transition. And so I'm going to have some people helping, but right now I don't. And it's really important that I, you know, am there while we transition. There's like new kids coming because our churches are merging and it's just a whole big thing. So that's where we are here on this Sunday. All right, I'm going to paint my nails, work on a Bible product, and watch some YouTube. Wait for my food. Say hi to Tardy. Hello, people. Yum. Oh, you don't want me? You don't want to come in? You want me to come out? Hello. Nice to see you. And flop. And back gloves. Hello, happy Monday. I just got home from school. Well, I stopped at Kroger to pick up the groceries on the way home from school, but then now we are here we are done um today is actually gonna be a really busy monday i feel like mondays always are it's like the day i'm like oh i need to get everything together so what we're about to do is i first of all need to like take a shower and wash my hair because i don't wash my hair very often i wash it about once a week and so it's time. Um, and so I need to do that first and foremost. And then I have a bunch of stuff to pick up. I was hoping to take Charlie on a walk, but I am, I think my feet hurt really badly. So I'm not gonna do that today. Maybe fingers crossed that I can handle it tomorrow. I feel so bad though, because like, you know, we went back to school and I am too tired to walk her. And so I, I should be getting better. I did get to leave on time today because I did not have late duty. It was very exciting. So that is nice. I'm trying to get, you know, into my new routine. Got in groceries and yeah, so I'm gonna go shower and then I have a bunch of stuff to like clean up. So I have like um, clean up the living room. I need to clean up, like we were sleeping on the air mattress while our air conditioning was broken. And so I need to, now that the air is fixed, I need to clean that up. I need to like water the plants, 
finish the laundry, like a lot of that kind of stuff. And then I also have some computery things to do. So hopefully before, before husband gets home, I will be able to at least edit a video or two and work on a few products I have. Yesterday I did, I usually for every lesson, like Bible lesson, I'll do three things in my lesson pack, sometimes more, but three is kind of like my basic starting point and so i finished two yesterday i need to finish the third today but the third one's really easy once i've done the other two so that should not take long at all so that's on the list for today um i also need to finish up i have a product that's almost done for becca's music room but not quite so that's on the list for today and then um on mondays below deck mediterranean comes on which is my the only the only reality tv i watch i don't know why i like it but i just really like it and so um i don't usually watch tv tv we usually watch like netflix so since i'm watching normal tv they have commercials what is this um i am trying to turn that into my like pinterest pin time so like once a month just sit down and like make some pinterest pins during the commercials of the show because that's much more productive than like scrolling facebook so that is my plan for tonight i got a lot of stuff to get done so i guess i'll keep you posted on all the things and this will probably be the last um day in this set so i'm gonna go shower i'm gonna look a lot less cute in just a second i did spill can you see it yogurt all over my shirt today so that was great that i had a really good day but i was like oh that's awesome and it was only like halfway through the day so anyway well, let's go take care of this mess but also i frequently stock up on either these or the kind bars as like a snack for just when i'm hungry taking them to school and stuff and i usually get the big pack that has oats and honey peanut butter and then like cinnamon but this one that they gave me because i didn't have that one has chocolate I'm so pumped. I didn't even know that they had a dark chocolate one. So excited. All right, let's talk about Confectionery Soaps Co. Last vlog, I got an order from this brand, which is like a beauty products kind of brand. And so I want to give you an update now that I've tried everything out. So this is the bubble bath. I used it last night. It was really good, made a lot of bubbles, smelled really good. Um, just overall was very happy with you. Um, my husband did say that he thinks that this scent smells like sunscreen. So be aware of that. I think it smells like gardenias, but there we are. Um, this is the bubbler. This one was the Hakuna Matata one. This is the one I was the most excited about because I usually use like Lush stuff and the bubbler is my favorite. Um, wasn't amazed. It smells really amazing, but one, check out the glitter. That glitter was everywhere. I could not get it off. I could not rinse it off. I couldn't scrub it off. And so I was just like completely glittered. Like you should have seen when I took off my pajama shirt the next day, glitter just flew everywhere. So there's number one. Um, smells great, but I also feel, I feel like I used like almost half of it and it didn't bubble as much as I was expecting. So maybe it's just the scent. Maybe I didn't use enough. I don't know, but I feel like the Lush ones do better than that. Now, that being said, this stuff in here, this is the whipped sugar scrub. This is amazing. I kind of got it on a whim mostly because I wanted to try this scent and it is so good. It makes your skin so soft. It smells really good. Um, all of these scents have gone away because they're like summery scents, but they are doing a new launch soon. So we shall see how that goes. Then I got these two oils. I wasn't, I didn't think I would like them very much. I love them. I have used them so much. This one especially, you can see I've used quite a bit um, because again, my husband didn't love the smell of that one and I don't want him to think I smell bad. Um, and so he doesn't hate it. It just isn't his favorite. So, but this one smells really good. It's like a clean jungly kind of scent and it's so good. So you just shake it up. It's a little bit shimmery, but it's not glittery. And then I just rub it like all over myself after I have taken a bath or like I just took a shower and I just put that everywhere 
and it makes your skin so soft, especially the whipped sugar, sugar scrub, and then using that, so good, so good. So this is one I didn't actually think I was gonna be impressed with. I didn't really think I would like it or care about it really that much, because I was like, why don't I just use lotion? But, oh my gosh, so good. And then, last thing, they gave me a free sample of this hair serum, and it is amazing. So I already ordered some of the hair serum because it makes your hair so soft and tames all of the like frizziness. So very excited to get an actual bottle of that. And then they also gave me a free sample of body wash. I have not tried it yet. That's my confectionery soaps co update. I did place another order. They did a pre-sale on a scent that I was really excited about. So I got that actually before I finished these. So I got a couple of things in that and then they have a new launch coming at the end of August. I don't know how I'm going to like all their launches because they're one of those like things sell out really quickly and that really stresses me out and I'm not a fan of that kind of stuff. So we'll see how that goes but you know I might just take whatever's left over after the first few things sell out. Um, so that's that's my thought. I will link them down below. It's just like a small business. I think it's just a couple of people. Um, so, you know, always good to support small businesses. And man, this stuff smells good. I can like smell that oil that I put on and it smells so good. Okay, let's go do things. I also cut an inch off my hair before I got in the shower. Well, like an inch and a half and then I did like a little bit better with the layers. They were very overgrown. Hello, happy Tuesday. I told you that yesterday I was gonna end it, but then I forgot to end it, so here we are. Um, yesterday I got kind of like half of what I need to get done done, so I did finish all the cleaning tasks I wanted to do. I did not touch my laptop. So that's where I am. Today I had a faculty meeting, so I just got home. It is 6.15. Um, gosh, I hate staff meetings. It's so stressful to be coming home this late. And then like my husband's already on the way home and I just got home and like that just, I'm like, oh, I don't like it. Um, anyway, so I'm home. I did not get everything done yesterday. Today my plan is I'm actually gonna go take Tali on a walk. Um, on Tuesday, since I have a faculty meeting, I actually don't plan to do any work at all because very soon I'm gonna have choir on Tuesdays after like, I'll literally basically come home at 6:15, and then leave at 6 30 to get to choir by 7 so I just kind of like shovel some food in my mouth um and so we'll be back on that schedule um so for like this week and next week I think are the only two weeks I have before then um I'm not planning on doing any work because I'm not you know that's not gonna be in the future so right now I'm just gonna take Tali on a walk I'm gonna chill for a little bit I'm gonna make dinner and then probably tonight while we're watching TV I actually will pull out my computer and do some work I didn't yesterday because by the time I got all the cleaning tasks done and I started cooking it was already like after eight o'clock by the time I finally sat down on the couch and so by the time I finished eating and stuff it was like nine and I was like well you know frankly it's not even worth it at this point and so that's where we were yesterday so today i'm like if i can you know take all in a walk and then like chill for a little bit then i'll be in a better headspace and i probably won't mind doing a little bit of like light computer work after dinner is over so that's the plan for today mostly because i didn't get those things done yesterday i did however do some researching on cleaning companies and oh my gosh it's way more stressful than i thought because it was like here's all these different companies and I don't know who's a good and who's not good and like I'm letting people into my house like oh my gosh so if you're in the Savannah area and you know someone you know good then let me know because I even I got some recommendations off our Facebook group for our neighborhood and looked them up and like one was super sketchy one was like closed one I couldn't even find and so I was like I don't I don't my neighborhood's not that old so like I don't know who these people were that were recommending them um but that's where we are so i'm gonna do those things and i'm gonna let you go and that's about all i got 
so this is your reminder back to school season is a season things might be crazy things will calm down and if you can't you know spend a bajillion hours on your tbt shop right now it's okay yes it might be frustrating but it is okay and so i have to keep reminding myself like this is a season i'm getting my life together i'm getting my schedule figured out i'm you know working through it and that's where we are that's also why i work in the morning because you never know what's gonna happen in the afternoon so hopefully you are having a good time hopefully you're balancing everything if you're you know trying to do both like i am and yeah so thanks for hanging out with me all the way to the end of what i assume is a really long vlog i'll see you later